journey to Kayville. Instead, you will be engulfed by the Wade Wackos, the Duke fans ready for their Blue Devils to go to work. Today, a couple of teams getting set to square off in an ACC battle. As we'll see, the SMU Mustangs taking on a squad hoping to prevent another L this week, the Duke Blue Devils. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me. Devils will put total leather and we'll get started. Looking for those open spaces and opportunity. And the returner will be brought down. The Mustangs offense takes the field to start this game off. And this big fella can beat you in a number of different ways in the passing game, David. He has so much fun to have a guy that I can rely on, that can beat guys over the middle of the field, that can beat man-to-man -man coverage. This guy's the ultimate weapon. And I love that this guy has an awesome catch radius. You don't have to be perfect as a quarterback when you throw to him. He can make you look good. Tough way to start this drive. Now they'll try to fix it on second and 15. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And the running game has been going in the wrong direction. They'll try to get their first positive play of the drive here on third down. Getting some heat. And the quarterback goes down all the way back in his four-yard line. And you don't want to see this trend continue. Last week, he was sacked four times. The offensive line, this offense as a whole, needs to get in better situations, get rid of the football faster, and not keep getting their quarterback in. The Mustangs will try to pin them back with the punt. Three and out and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. Sometimes avoiding disaster is the best thing. The punter just gets it out of there. Really good job by the coverage team to make the stop, and that's where they'll put it in play. The Blue Devils offense will take the field for the first time. A first down for the offense. He wants to start this drive with a pass. That's reeled in. It's Harvey. And they pick up just a few on that completion. Right on target with that last pass. Now it's second and medium. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. On the move at the 30. And he's running in the open. They're able to keep him out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the two after the big play in the passing game. And as a defense, how scary is it having to defend this guy? He's one of the fastest players in America, and you saw it on that last play. It's not necessarily throwing him the ball over your head. They just get it to him quickly. The hard part now is running and tackling that guy. Not easy to do. After that big play, they're trying to pay it off right on the goal line. Turning to the running game on first and goal. Diving for the score, and the ball's loose. And the defense jumps on it, and they get that turnover. And turnovers are so pivotal to winning a football game. Last week, man, he put it on the deck as well, and they lost by a possession. This week, you fumble again. Man, you've got to take care of the football. That's always priority number one for every single offense. The SMU offense is headed back onto the field. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this drive. They're going to go right back to him on first down. Really needed a play like that to get out of their own end. They move the chains. They mark it at the 29. They are dialed in on this drive. A couple of chunk plays, and now they'll snap it on first down. Out of the gun. The inside handoff to the running back. Defense closed down quickly after a gain of three. They'll mark it at the 32. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. He'll do it himself. And they try the middle of this defense, and that is not happening. 
third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. They're bringing heat. He'll pull it down. When you've been around like this guy has, you know how valuable picking up the first down with your feet can be. And the Mustangs come to the line with a new set of downs. The run to the left. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Lost yardage on that last one. It's second and 11. To the ground with the back. Creating some space, getting just enough good blocking, and they've got it up to the 47-yard line. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. Trying to get to it. And he is not going to get there as the defense gets him on the ground. The Mustangs line up to punt it away. First punt was gorgeous. Let's see if he can do it again. Punt goes out of bounds and a really nice job as they stick them deep in their own end. They'll mark it around the 10. Snags it quickly on the left. This slot receiver is a guy the defense has to be careful of. He runs good routes, he's got some speed, and if you're not careful, this guy can gash you. Takes the handoff. It's Moore. Dragged down to the turf, but not before getting the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Wide out in motion. Wants to throw on first down. Looking to the big tight end. Makes the grab. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. That's what's so scary about this offense. They've got guys in the perimeter that can change the game in one single play. And you saw it right there. Too much speed on the perimeter to create that explosive play. And they'll wrestle him to the ground after a short game. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Scanning the field, it's Murphy. And he was drilled just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Coming after it. And the defense is all over the quarterback, and down he goes. The pocket broke down, and the quarterback had to take the sack. Really impressed by this pass rush, Reese. Just guys winning their individual battles one-on-one -on -one up front. They're able to get to the quarterback. And the Blue Devils will punt it away on fourth down. First time we've seen their punt team this afternoon. He gets the first one off, and he was busier than he hoped in that loss last week, being called on five times. Dude, how about that boom? I mean, you talk about power. That dude just booted that thing halfway across the field, completely flipping the field position and getting it down inside the 10. That is a nice job by that punter. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves him with second and four. It's reverse. A strong tackle and wrap-up from the junior. So third and short from inside the 20. You convert here, and this drive takes on a different complexion. From the gun, wants to pass. Trying to burn this defensive back. Wide open, he makes the catch. Afterburner's coming. And he takes it all the way. They couldn't stop him. Touchdown, SMU! Quarterback's abilities to read the field is huge. And also the anticipation, the time to be able to throw the football, Jesse, and hit a guy in stride so he can get run after the catch and get in the end zone. That was a nice job by the quarterback. Yeah, it's critical, Dave. And listen, a lot of times, touchdown passes aren't thrown into the end zone. You've got to read the coverage, hit the open guy, and let him do the rest. On to attempt the try. The kicker on for the extra point. And the PAT makes it 7-0. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And the capper shows how dangerous this passing game can be. 89 yards on the scoring toss. 
He'll start the return inside his spot. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Back to throw, it's Murphy. Looking to the big tight end. Got his man to the left. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. Yeah, and the quarterback knew exactly where he wanted to go with the football. Had time, spins the ball deep. Nice job by this offense, understanding what the defense has given them and creating the explosive play. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. Got rid of it quickly, but it's incomplete. Now facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Nowhere to go, and the ball is loose. Defense coming up with a huge fumble recovery. Offense getting set for first down. They'll give it to the back. And they'll make the stop, and we are headed to the end of the first period. We're through one, and what a back-and-forth battle between these two quarterbacks as we look at the stats. Heading in the opposite directions now as we crank it up in the second. Split backs here. They'll run it from the gun. Can't get him to the ground. Crosses the 40, gets it down to the 35 before he stopped a gain of six. Quarterback on the keeper. They are on the move as they pick up the first down. They'll spot it at the 28. And the Mustangs come to the line with a fresh set of downs. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. They'll pull him down after a pickup of five down to the 23. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Looking to throw at Stone. Feeling some heat. And that pass will be jarred loose on second down. That brings up third down. We'll see if they go back to the air after the incompletion. It's third and five. And the defense knew exactly where that first down line was, and they stopped him short. Here comes the field goal unit as they'll try to take the three. Never a doubt. And they'll push that lead out a little further. That means the score. SMU, 10, 2, 0. So after putting three on the board, the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away. He'll take the return, try to get better field position. Pulled down at the 18, and the decision to bring it out of the end zone was not a good one. And the Duke offense heads back out onto the field. They are trailing by 10 here, Jesse, but this is the type of team that seems comfortable in an offensive shootout. You got to hold serve at this point, right? You got to drive the field, put some more points up on the board. Yeah, they just scored. You can answer that now and keep this thing close, David. And I think you're used to that as often. It's like football is so fast-paced now and you score so quickly. It's not that big of a deal to get down 10. You keep being you, keep being aggressive. On third and long, he has to throw for it. And the defense makes a play, sacking him back at the 10. The defense was in the dime package. They didn't have to send an extra rusher. The big fellas up front took care of that. 
Yeah, and all Don means is I'm bringing an extra fast guy on the field and taking an extra fat guy off the field. But listen, the fat guys still get home. Isn't that beautiful? The big athletic defensive line still does a great job getting to the quarterback, getting him on the ground. The Blue Devils send out the punt unit. Three and out, they got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. He's got great speed. And you make the stop, and that is exactly what you want out of your punt cover unit. The Mustangs have the ball back and ready to go to work. They've got the lead here. Last time they settled for a field goal, but David got to find that balance between being aggressive and careful. And I think they'll take that. I got the lead, Palmer. I got the football. I got to take care of the football, put a nice drive together, and just get some kind of points on this drive. No doubt. Lots to be happy about right now if you're this team. I think for this one, though, on this drive, it's about finding the one-on-one -on -one matchups that are in your favor and then exploiting He's going to look for a man on third and short. Got his man quickly. They were banking on the yards after the catch, but that went into the negative column. And I'm banking on the ball coming out quick. When I'm a defense and understanding third and short, understand they're going to throw the ball really quickly, try to make a play. The defense knew it, broke on the football, made a nice tackle to force a fourth down. And they are stopped on fourth down. That decision will be questioned smashes through they bring him down and he's going to lose a yard on that one didn't get much done on that first play of the drive it's second and 11 looking to throw it's Murphy quickly out to the tight end didn't pick up a lot there moved it forward just a few they line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one on third and long, trying to have a big completion here. Pressure coming. And he avoids the hit and slides after the short game. And the Blue Devils will line up to punt it away. He'll try to really get into this one. stop him but he found some running room on that return and really helps out his offense to start this drive the give to the back that's what you expect from a senior don't give them any extra yards great tackle there picked up two yards on that last one they need eight on second down he'll keep it himself and the defense makes the stop after a minimal game even if they don't convert, picking up a few would give them a decision to make on fourth down. It's third and long from the 45. They finally make the stop, but the big run is plenty to move those sticks for the first down. The Mustangs come to the line with a new set of downs. They are on the move down to the 32, and they pick up another first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. He'll pull it on the read. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Let's see what they've got on second down. From the gun, the running back tries to hit the hole. He had to fight for a couple down to the 33. A third and long coming up here. Back to pass, it's Stone. Pocket starts to collapse. He's going to run it. And he couldn't find quite enough running room to reach the line to gain. Referee signals timeout. It's the defense wanting to make sure that they have everything just right with a big play coming. And on fourth down, here comes the field goal unit. No good. Lead is still in double digits, but missed a chance to make it bigger. And Duke has the ball back, ready to go on the attack. Running out of time here in the first half, and they do have a chance to make this a one-possession game. 
And so you got to locate your best players and get them the football on this drive. You're down in the game. There's obviously a lot of football left, David, but on this drive, in this two-minute situation, best players got to touch the ball. And this could get into pressing mode, right? Like you go into the half, down a couple of scores, it starts to, the pressure really, really mounts. Good opportunity to take some of that pressure off, get some momentum, energize this squad going into halftime. Man, this offense is so dangerous, Reese. They've got dudes all over the field that can make plays. There's a big gainer in the pass game. You get a chunk of yards like that, now the defense is really on its heels. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Now from inside the red zone. He looks that one in nicely. They get him stopped at the five-yard line, but it will be first and goal from there. They'll go to the air. Got it! They'll mark him down at the two. The excellent execution on that throw and catch. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. They'll run play action. Looking for the score! And good coverage and better hands on that shot to the end zone. Still on the two-yard line after the incompletion, it's third and goal. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Quick timeout by the defense there, trying to make sure everyone has the same call. And now on fourth down, they'll try a field goal from the right hash, and this distance makes that angle not quite so severe. Splits the uprights, good. about to kick it away and hoping that'll be the final point of this first half. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The SMU offense is headed back onto the field. They'll come out on this drive and let it rip. They're trying to get to it. And the sack all the way back at the five. They're not going to win a lot of games if you can't protect your quarterback. In their last game, they got sacked four times, lost the game. And so far in this one, they're having difficulty again. These guys up front have got to do a better job communicating and giving their QB time. Clock still running, almost certainly the last play of the half. Running back searching for a hole. He's loose at the 15. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. We played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Gentlemen, you've had yourselves a superb broadcast so far today in Durham. And we have to start this halftime breakdown by addressing the play of this elite wide receiver. This is clearly a young man who, once he's finished playing on Saturdays, he's going to be playing on Sundays. The kid has different gears. He has a knack for finding gaps in the defense. And I can't remember a college player with that kind of catch radius. And with that, let's send it back to the guys at Brooks Field inside Wallace Wade Stadium. And the Mustangs will kick it away to start the second half. On the move from inside is five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. And the Duke offense heads back out onto the field. They got a lot done through the air in the first half, and they might need even more production here in the second. I think they will, Reese, and, and I think this is an offense that has proven they're playing with good timing right now. They've got some matchups where they're winning one-on-one, -on -one, and they're just going to have to keep going back to the well, David, and relying on hitting some explosive plays to win this game. Yeah, and I think we look at numbers naturally, and, and they're losing. So that's the most important thing on the scoreboard, but they have had success, and so... What do you do? You keep playing pitch and catch. You got to score, but you got to talk to your defense. I need some stops. I need the football back quickly so we can do some more damage. Throws to the wideout. He's got an open man. And he'll have enough for the first down at the 42. The Blue Devils will hustle to the line. 
Wow, and what a great job by that quarterback finding his open receiver on third down. You know, guys, one of the most telling stats at the end of the game is third down conversion percentage. If you're a great third down team, it's invaluable to your offensive success, and that's why teams drill third down so much in practice. Dropping back, it's Murphy. Fires to the wideout. Already find a hole in that secondary. And you can see the offense just feeling itself. They've got it down to the 21. In search of their first touchdown of the game, they are on the move with a first and 10. They'll go back to the ground. What a good run there. He has enough for the first down. This offensive scoring position with a fresh set of downs. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. And they get to the quarterback and knock him down back at the 16. You just like to see the quarterback have a clock going off in his head, forcing him to get rid of that football. Can't take a sack on first down and goal to go situation and move your offense backwards. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. Quick strike complete. They make the stop, but there is a flag on the field. We'll see what that's all about. He knows he knows he knows he knows he knows the officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. Handoff from the gun. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. They've gotten pushed back, but it's still third and goal. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. Getting some heat. And the pressure was too much. They get him at the 15. And it's been a long day for this offense. If you can't protect your quarterback, it's hard to be successful. That's the fifth sack they have given up. The offensive coordinator has no answers, and this defense has been flying around. They'll try to put three on the board as the field goal unit comes on. Right down the boulevard, it's good. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? Boys, if it's happening in college football, we've got eyes on it. Check this out. Vanderbilt is currently trailing, but this has been a back and forth affair. If that quarterback can find a little magic a la Jay Cutler, this might not be over just yet. It's just a field goal game. They're trailing by three to Texas. We'll circle back if anything big happens you need to know about. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. That motion from the offense. They're going to open this drive with a pass. He finds his man. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. Give to the back. Defense not budging. He's still able to get two to the 29. Ball spotted at the 29. Here they come on third and short. He'll do it himself. Keeps the legs moving. Tackled, but he has a first down. The Mustangs come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Power football with the run. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Couldn't get him blocked on that last one. Now it's second and 14. They're bringing heat. That quarterback was doing his best. Houdini escaping in the backfield, but the defense finally gets to it. The good news is they didn't lose a ton of yards. The bad news is that's the third sack they've given up now in this game. They have got to do a better job protecting this quarterback. Now this offense facing a third and long from their own 30. 
He's looking downfield to throw. Trying to get to him. And the defense gets loose, bringing the heat, and down he goes again. Yeah, and the defensive line, you know, third and long situations. I'm rushing the quarterback. You bring in the nickel, a little bit more speed on the field, and the defensive line gets home and gets the sack on third down. And the Mustangs decide to punt it away. Makes a move. That nifty return sets up the offense and negates some of the yardage on the punt. And Duke has the ball back, ready to go on the attack. The sledding has been tough. Scores have been at a premium, Jesse, and every possession seems like it could switch the momentum of the game. Yeah, Reese, for this offense, just feels like they just haven't been as physical. For this offensive coordinator, David, he's having to go deep into the playbook just to try to generate a first down. Well, and the good thing is there's not a ton of game pressure because the other side's not scoring either. But if you can find that one thing that... Get them... And the defense will corral the quarterback, and down he goes at midfield. And if your job is to irritate, to confuse, to hit to make quarterbacks feel very uncomfortable, this defense is definitely doing their job. Six sacks, that's the way to make the quarterback feel like he's having a hard day. He's had no response. This offensive line has no response. Just a sack party. They've got the ball at midfield, but they're facing a third and long. Coming after it. And the pressure gets to him again. Another sack. That is now the seventh sack on defense. This offense cannot protect their QB. It doesn't matter if the defense is blitzing or if they're just winning one-on-one. -on -one. Seven sacks, that's just ridiculous. And the Blue Devils Number will call on their punt team. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. He'll bring it back, it's Smith. And they'll get him down after the return at the 27-yard line. The Mustangs have the ball back and ready to go to work. And then a low-scoring game like this one, David, every possession is magnified. And I think more than anything, it just gets frustrating. And you got to put that behind you. you got to see what this defense has been doing to be so successful. Caller, now use it against him. Yeah, David, I think for a play caller, this is tough, right? It's like you have to have the perfect play on just to get a first down. In these types of games, I think you're just trying to get guys out in space, see if a dude can break a tackle. Maybe that generates an explosive play, and it breaks this trend. They're trying to slow that rush down with the draw. Really nice run. Rips off six on the play, but it brings up a fourth and two. The Mustangs will send out the punt unit. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. Bringing it back, it's more. Everybody stays in their lanes well enough, and they stop him at the 31-yard line. First play of this drive will start from the 31-yard line. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. And he gets it to the 45-yard line, and that'll be a first down. Here's his offense with a fresh set of downs. He's got it on the right. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. Now on second down. And that one goes incomplete, but there is a penalty flag, and they might have gotten him for OPI. You don't see offensive pass interference called very often, so usually you know it's pretty blatant. It's pretty obvious. It's a severe push off or, you know, trying obviously trying to break up a play so you don't give up a pick, but clear offensive pass interference on that play. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. That's the end of the period, and SMU has the lead. And as we switch ends of the field, let's take a quick look at the national rankings. One more period to go to see who can make the winning plays and come home with the victory. Here they come, facing third and long from the 40. 
Caught behind the line. It's Moore. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. It's a one-score game late, and they've got to go for it on fourth down. They'll try to pick up the first. They make the stop, and this running game moves the chains as they get the first down. The Blue Devils are rolling down the field. To the air on first down. Fires to the big fella. And they picked up nine on first down. It'll bring up second and short. Looking to throw, it's Murphy. He finds a soft spot in the middle. They make the tackle, but he's got a fresh set of downs, and it's first and goal from the center. So the opportunity with a touchdown here to take a fourth quarter lead. Got it behind the line. It's Moore. That throw and catch gets them down to the six, and the defense is running out of answers. Brings up second angle. They keep attacking through the air. And it'll be incomplete. This is some physical pass defense. If they can get it in here, we could have a thrilling end of this game. It is third and goal. Feeling some heat. Touchdown, Blue Devils! And with that, they move out front here in the fourth. Man, I love this offense being able to run the football late in the game when it matters and punch it in for the touchdown and, more importantly, take the lead. Needs this one to push the lead to a field goal. And it's good, and he pushes the lead to three. They marched 79 yards on the drive, and he got into the house from the six to finish it. Here he comes from inside his own five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The SMU offense is headed back onto the field. They'll leave it with him. Brought down at the 31 after a pickup of 10 yards on that one. It's first and 10 from the 31. He's looking to throw it. He's taking the shot. And it falls in complete. But it could have been much, much worse as the defender was right there. Quarterback on the keeper. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. It'll take some work to get to the sticks. It's third and long from the 30. Looking for a man. It's Stone. Pressure coming. And the quarterback bought a little time, but actually bought a lot of time, but not enough time. The defense gets to him. And there's no mystery as to why this team's losing today. They've given up five sacks. They cannot keep their quarterback upright. You just saw another example of it right there. He has never been able to get into rhythm throwing the football. And the Mustangs will punt this one away. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. Another punt on the way. Got to make sure those hammies and glutes all activated. Don't want any muscle pulls from overuse. He'll get it up to about the 44-yard line before they slam the brakes on him. The give to the tailback. A most efficient pickup of six on first down. It's second and four. On the run, it's Moore. Tackle is made after the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. The incomplete and very lucky that one wasn't picked off. And man, could they have used that? It'll be second down. He's looking to throw. Quickly complete. And that one looked great on the grease board, but when they blow it up like that, the defense is going to win every time. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. 
gets it out fast. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. And the Blue Devils will bring the punt team onto the field. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. And that ball will sail into the end zone for a touchback. The Mustangs have the ball back and ready to go to work. They've had to punt the last couple of times they've had it, David, now trying to put something together. But, Reese, you know how much I love punters and kickers. Like, you don't want to see them very often. Those are not guys that we want to see on the field. We want to do something else and be a little bit more productive offensively here. I think, David, on this drive, the quarterback's just got to settle down. These last few drives, looks like he's seen ghosts. We've seen him force the football. He's missed a couple of throws. He needs to just take a deep breath and play within himself. Pocket starts to collapse. And the quarterback goes down at the 11-yard line. This quarterback is thinking to himself, I need to get an NIL deal at some restaurant so I can take my offensive line out and feed them more because I don't think they like me very much right now. I've been sacked six times in this game. It's time to get that new NIL deal paycheck. The Mustangs will try to pin them back with the punt. Three and out and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. On the move, it's Moore. And the return man reaches the end of the line, and down he goes. And the Duke offense heads back out onto the field. They'll have another opportunity to extend this lead after punting last time, David. And it's important to put that punt behind you. It's, it's over. Let it go. Get back to what you were doing that built this lead. Yeah, and defense, obviously, they won a few downs uh, that last drive. So we got to put them on their heels here. Maybe mix up a few personnel groupings and try to show them some pictures they haven't seen yet. Little too soft in that run defense. He picks up four to the 32. On the ground, trying to pull the plug on this clock. Defense there to stop him after a gain of three, but he is inside the 32-29. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. He'll keep it himself. The offense pops it up, and they were on the move. Bounced right back to them. We have arrived at the two-minute warning, a one-possession game as this offense tries to hold on. Never a doubt for this big-footed guy. 49-yard field goal is good. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? Guys, let's get you up to speed on what's going down in this fun college football game today. Vanderbilt is currently trailing but this has been a back-and-forth affair. If that quarterback can find a little magic a la Jay Cutler, this might not be over just yet. It's a touchdown game. They're trailing by seven to Texas. We'll circle back if anything big happens you should know about. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. The SMU offense is headed back onto the field. That last drive won't go on the highlight reel after ending in a punt. They'd like to be more productive this time, David. And I think this offense has to be a little bit more balanced. Find a little balance between the run, Jesse, and working in that pass. And I think, too, David, it's just going to take a spark. It just takes one play to get this thing picked up and going. Clock is still running, and they have to get everybody lined up. Looking downfield, it's Stone. Fires to the right. Reacted well to the tip, but just couldn't squeeze the football. Instead of the turnover, it'll be third down. From the gun, wants to pass. They're trying to get to it. And he can't find anyone open, and down. Fourth down, he'll try to toss it. Unloads to the wide out. He's got it, they convert. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. He's gonna pass. Just missed his man, gave him just a little too much. Now on second down. 
He's looking to throw. Dumps it to the back. This time it's complete. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. The offense gets a quick timeout at this point. Every second is precious. Makes the grab on the left. And he'll run across the sidelines after the good game. That completion leaves us with second and medium. He's looking to throw. You just get the feeling this defense is going to make it hard on them, right? They've got the lead. It's late. And they're going to try to tackle everybody inbounds. Offense is going to have to really work for this and be smart. you got to attack the sidelines. you got to throw first down. you got to keep this thing moving vertically down the field. From the red zone, he's going to throw it. That's caught. It's Maryland. They'll get it down to the eight-yard line on that throw and catch, and the defense is backed up against the wall. Quick timeout call by the offense after the play, trying to preserve every minute possible. Getting some heat. And he can't get it off. Taken down. What a huge play this late in the game. Dropping back, it's Stone. Looking to the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Mustangs. Touchdown. Man, how about the Number execution three. by this offense? Oh, Taking almost Indian. all of the clock, tying this football game, and now get that kicker loose. No pressure at all. Go kick that thing through the uprights, and you get the big W. Lining up for the PAT. Timeout called by the defense, and there are only 10 seconds left in the game. And they take the lead, and now in the waning moments, they're so close to a win. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. On the run from inside his own five. He only needs a sliver of daylight. He found some really good running room on that one and just about got loose as it is. Good return to set up the drive. Looking to move it through the air. Here's a throw downfield late. They fought to the bitter end and the final incompletion puts a wrap on it. Sometimes it's just not your day. Things just didn't work and that seemed to be the case here. They, they didn't get the W. They didn't do enough. Uh, but now you start to think about what could I have done differently? What do I need to become more offensively? Defensively, what can I morph into to make those extra plays, Jesse? That might be the difference in the next game that I play. Yeah, David, they just need a little bit more. They need a little bit better effort next week. They're going to need better preparation this week in practice. There's no doubt this team has a lot of talent, but we just need a little bit more to ensure that this doesn't happen next week. That's going to do it for us from here for Jesse Palmer, David Pollock. I'm Reese Davis, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.